Let's get more now on this from Richard Stevenson, the chief executive of Udo Media. Thanks for coming in. And uh, so, do you think uh, Google's Nexus 7 could provide a challenge, serious challenge to the dominance of the iPad? Well, it will certainly do well, okay, because it is a beautifully designed device, and it's integrated for the first time with this new um, operating software called Jelly Bean, and it makes a much smoother operation. However, whether it's going to challenge Apple depends upon other things that you need to, to, to take into account, like the Google Play Store, and whether Google Play has enough content, enough interest for users, and it's very short of what Apple has got available. So overall, it's the joining the Google Google Play ecosystem or joining the Apple ecosystem, which will determine whether this is a long-term success or not. And Google have to do more on Google Play. But one thing Nexus 7 do have on their side uh, is that the, the tablet is much cheaper than the iPad. And in these tough economic times, that might be a big selling point. It is. And I think they put it on just at the point of almost being an impulse buy. And I think that's important because they've taken out some features that maybe consumers might want, like uh, front-facing camera, for example, and, and maybe more than just 16 gigabytes. But the important point is hitting that key price point to deliver a, a very nicely made uh, device to people uh, in, a, in a much broader field. So it will certainly sell. And whether it will damage Apple, um, we don't think that uh, Apple will be heavily dented by this. And we have to remember that there will be something more coming from Apple in this in the future. But all the time, there are various ca uh, companies launching things like uh, Samsung and uh, the Amazon yep. Kindle or Kindle Fire. Um, so eventually, uh, they're going to have to come together to, to, to make some kind of product which can challenge Apple. Or do you think Apple is just so far ahead that it will be very hard to eat into its share of the market? Well, they're a, they're a pretty frightening competitor. You know, they have 100, more than 100 billion in the bank, and they have a head start. You know, yes. it's a bit like sort of Cavendish chasing the peloton. You know, um, it's. Uh, heading the peloton, chasing the front pack. It's a very difficult thing to catch Apple. Yeah. Um, and I think Apple is just going to keep moving the goalposts. I mean, this is not a static marketplace. So each one of these people that you saw on your clip there who stand up and say, this is the greatest thing that's going to make a change, uh, they are playing big catch up. Um, Apple. Are they going to challenge that space? Although there are reports, aren't there, that uh, Apple are, are, are working on a, a possible iPad mini. Uh, yes. I think it's the big question to judge it is whether it's the price point that is making people buy the, the seven-inch tablets or whether it is, in fact, um, the fact it's more convenient and it carry it around. I think uh, the Kindle Fire did very well on its launch in the States. Uh, sales since then have fallen back, but that is partly because the Kindle Fire is a much poorer tablet and the Nexus 7 is actually, from a specification point of view, really very, very good. Richard Stevenson, thank you very much Pleasure. for talking us through that. Thank you.